Yo, what's up guys, AJC here, and we are back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your playmaking badges in literally just three hours, guys. This is the fastest method after the latest patch, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this super, super fast, okay? So, before we get into it, mean the world, you can subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. And also, guys, if you do wanna shout out in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below in this video, let's just make it playmaking, all right? And like the video. So do those two things, guys, and you can be in the running to win a shout out in the next video, okay? So, guys, to start off, what you're gonna wanna do is head to options and settings okay you're gonna want to start off guys especially if you're just starting off on playmaking on pro or all-star difficulty what i do suggest if you're a guard start on all-star difficulty but if you're a center power forward and you got like two or three playmaking badges that you're just trying to get do it on pro difficulty it will be so much faster but if you are a guard guys start on all-star difficulty so you get the extra bonus but the consistency and you know the way the defense plays is exactly the same okay all-star is literally the cheesiest game difficulty you could play so guys play on all uh all star the quarter length it doesn't matter it's up to you if you want to play 12 minutes you can i like to play you know anywhere between eight to six minutes it's really up to you um because there is a cap off with how many you know assists you can get and max out okay so that's up to you now when it comes to badges okay so badges are somewhat important you can have uh you know lob city passer as we all know i have i have it on silver right here but guys trust me you're gonna be okay having it on literally nothing or even just bronze okay the only thing that's silver helps out is you're gonna be able to throw long like long long lobs and you're gonna see what i mean in the footage and the best way to go about it in the methods but um that is pretty much it for the settings and the way to get started into a my career game but we're gonna get straight into a my career game guys and i'm gonna show you the best methods on how to actually go about getting your playmaking badges all right let's get into it all right so now i'm gonna show you the best method and the fastest way in order to get your playmaking badges okay so if you guys didn't know the best way to get your playmaking badges is actually through alley-oops okay alley-oops are so much more effective you get so much more xp than just a normal assist just a normal pass guys so definitely look at doing alley oops and it's super easy to do on all star and pro difficulty like i said okay whether you're a big man whether you're a guard it doesn't really matter guys you are still going to be able to do uh you know get some lobs up um and if you want guys make sure you try to get bronze and maximum guys silver lob city passer silver is all you really need in all honesty you're gonna be okay with like bronze or even just nothing but if you want to be hitting like lobs from like half court you can always get it on silver like I do as well, okay? So this is the first method on how to actually get lobs and the easier way to go about it. On every fast break, guys, what you're gonna wanna do is on every fast break, you're gonna ask for the ball. You're gonna head down the middle and head into the paint. Then you're gonna curl out and you're gonna notice some of your players, whether you're it's LeBron James, Anthony Davis, they're gonna run into the paint and then that's when you throw the lob. So you see me here, guys, I'm running into the paint, I go out, Kyle Kuzma's there and he's been able to grab the board, okay? So also guys, pick a team. Okay, I just suggest go in the Lakers, okay? There's no other better team than the Lakers. Go in Lakers. There's like, there's so many slashes in it. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma, uh, JaVale McGee. There is a bunch of them. Caruso. So everyone can really catch lobs in the Lakers. So it'll help you out a bunch um, to get more successful in doing that, okay? So like I said, guys, just to show you the method again, all you really have to do is um, on fast breaks, you're going to head over to the middle of the paint. Just go as close as possible you can to it um, but head into the middle once you're there you're gonna head over to the side as you see here and someone's gonna be able to drive in because what's actually happening guys is the defense is going away or steering away from uh, the inside because you're attracting all the defense and then you're gonna notice there's just gonna be space uh, for someone to run in especially the big men so like Anthony Davis or Kyle Kuzma in order to grab the uh, the, uh, the alley-oop sorry not the board um, for the for the finish okay so like I said guys it is so much better to do an alley-oop one because you get more XP and two they're usually finishing better than if you pass it inside sometimes guys they don't even shoot it they miss because they get a contest so trust me guys alley is definitely the best way and you get so much more um, XP from it okay I am not joking you whatsoever okay um, but that is basically the alley-oop method that I would do um, to start off on fast breaks, guys. So you want to do this every single fast break opportunity you get. Do not miss one of them, guys. And like I said, first off, if you do get turnovers, do not worry whatsoever. You do not get, like, penalized, penalized sorry for it. I was about to say penalized. What is wrong with me? But penalized for it um, or anything like that. So it's absolutely fine if you stuff up. I had like 20 turnovers this game, 30. It doesn't really matter, guys. You can move on and you can keep going. Okay, so, you know, if, if it doesn't look like you're gonna, it's gonna be able to get the alley, just throw it anyway. If you get a turnover, who cares? You move on to the next play, okay? So now working in the half court, guys. This is what you're actually gonna do in the half court, okay? So as we all know, obviously you don't get a fast break opportunity every single time. So you're gonna basically run the pick and roll, but you're gonna ask for a quick isolation first off. So you're gonna see here, guys, quick isolation. Now, 
when you run the pick and roll, okay, you're gonna head over to the middle. You want to make sure the screen is on the right, um, or if you're doing it on the on the right side, then you, you want the screen on the left. But you want to be able to go in, go to the middle of the paint. But what you're gonna actually do is, guys, you're gonna drive or dribble all the way to the other elbow. Okay, so you see there, guys, I drive to the other elbow, and then you throw the lob. The reason why, guys, is because the defense is actually gonna come out and it's gonna spread them in the paint, so they're not actually gonna be able to block uh, or you know hit your assist out of the way. Okay, because you'll notice, guys, if you're not doing it right. If you don't go all the way, sometimes when you throw the lob, uh, they'll jump and then they'll just hit the ball out. You get a turnover like that. So to get a better success rate, guys, try to go as far to the right as possible. I just like to say go to the elbow on the other side. So the elbow is basically, guys, the free throw line and just on the right side of it um, since I'm coming from the left. So you see there, guys, go all the way to the right and then you just throw the lob. Okay, so um, that is basically how you do this one. You got to make sure you go to call for the ISO as well, just so you space out the floor. Sometimes they already are spaced out, so they'll help out as well. Um, but just the main thing with this one guys is make sure you just always go as far right as possible you're gonna notice if you do this you know five six seven times uh the defense is obviously obviously gonna start picking up on it and they're gonna be able to know you know like oh when you're throwing the lob that they know that you're gonna think so if anything guys if you want you're free to shoot it if they do leave you open if they know that the alley-oop's gonna happen um or what you can do is guys just chuck a normal pass if you want so chuck a normal pass don't worry about an alley-oop in that situation and eventually you'll be able to get the opportunity to throw a lob again okay so as you see there guys there was a guy in the paint um in the middle but you know me going to the elbow and pushed him out of the way so it had like space for Kyle Kuzma to actually uh grab the lob and finish it off at the ring okay so like I said it's really really important that you go all the way to the side um because in order for that to happen the help defense kind of stuffs up so you're gonna be able to get a bucket or you know get an assist very very easy okay but like I said guys if you want to force the alley-oop if you don't think it's there you're free to do it like I said you don't get penalized for throwing lobs uh, but if you do want the you know extra assist points just throw a normal pass guys you should be able to get it off um, and they should be able to get a bucket either way okay so those are the two options you have when it comes to the pick and roll so like I said guys just make sure the screen is actually screening so you're able to go towards the paint um, you don't want to be like you know kind of get screen and go towards the baseline that is a really bad angle to go from so if you're on the right side guys you want your screen to be on the left and if you're on the left side guys you want your screen coming from the right okay so that's basically how you do this method guys in the half court um, and these are like the two best methods Methods I would go with uh, when it comes to alley-oops. It really doesn't get any better than that. So trust me guys, these alley-oop methods are the best. Now, the third method guys, the final method that you guys probably already know, and it's not really a surprise to you, but the last method guys is basically just getting assists, okay? Whether you're on the fast break, if the lob's not there, just throw a normal pass, um, you know, just throwing everyday passes here and there. What a good method is guys, if the shot clock is running out, instead of actually getting a shot up, what you can do is you can pass it to someone on the wing at the last second and they'll actually shoot it really quick and you'll notice guys in all honesty like let's say you do it five times i reckon two or three times out of five they're gonna shoot it and it's gonna go in especially on all-star and pro difficulty okay so that's the thing i kind of recommend like i said guys pro all-star difficulty just keep it at that trust me you're gonna be getting a lot more xp hall of fame your defense is definitely you know it's definitely smothering you and you're not gonna be able to get lobs as as much of course they do uh they do uh, uh i guess like are cost more or are they worth more but trust me it's not worth it guys you're not gonna be able to get that many lobs up as you do in pro and all-star um, but yeah like I said in the at the start if you are a big man probably do pro difficulty to start off and maybe get lob city pass or go from there if you're a straight-up guard guys you can go straight to all-star throwing lobs here and there um, you don't need lob city passer in order to do all this what lob city passer usually does guys I noticed having it on bronze you'll be able to basically you know throw lobs uh, anywhere like kind of in the three-point area but once you have silver over Lob City Pasta, you're gonna be able to throw it from literally like half court. Okay, so that's the only difference I see. The success rate of doing it inside doesn't really change, guys. A lob's a lob. There's only one way to catch it, one way to throw it. So trust me, you're gonna be okay in that sense. But what I like the advantage I have of having it on silver, especially if you're a guard, guys, make sure you have it, or even big man, that when you grab the ball at half court, like you saw in some of the footages, guys, I'm able to lob it basically from half court. Okay, just if I see someone open, I just throw the ball nine times out of ten. They're gonna be able to catch it really really effectively okay and especially that you got kuzma lebron anthony davis they all got lob city finishers
finisher in some way so they're gonna be able to finish a lot more effectively than other uh than other people okay so definitely look at getting into the lakers guys i do not suggest any other team i don't really see any other team with this many slashers i wouldn't like milwaukee it only kind of has Giannis. uh you know rockets don't really have anyone there's not really anyone else but with this many slashers not even la clippers so lakers is definitely the team i suggest you do this on um if you want to do it so just ask for a trade or anything like that you all you gotta do is play 10 games i think and just ask for the trade but that is basically guys for the playmaking methods trust me you're gonna be able to get you know playmaking down and dusted very very quick um and trust me guys this is a super easy method that you're gonna be able to get max your playmaking badges very fast okay so just want to also show you the amount of my points you're gonna be able to get towards your playmaking badges guys it's gonna be you know 20,000 30,000 all the way up to 50 and 60,000 that can get you you know two three badge like playmaking badge points every single game okay so like i said if it does start getting easier for you feel free to push it to superstar uh difficulty or even hall of fame because you do get the bonuses from it but like i said guys start on pro all-star that is the best way to start and if it does get too hard you know you're gonna be able to still get your badges super fast using all-star um and using pro as well okay so like i said do the best you know pick your poison and try to you know do it on what's best for your build because i know not all builds can do hall of fame blob city passes from halfway okay so these are the points you're going to be able to get using this method guys so you can see 30,000 all the way up to 50,000 there's really no end um and yeah that's absolutely great so guys let's get into the shout outs because i'm not even waiting for it quick shout out to patty vinzo glinton bra bra i himi bronson sua ricardi the boss lolo cringeworthy gameplay broderick session Corey Marshall and ISO Melly 2K for coming to my last video. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. For all the love and all the support, you guys have been absolutely killing it. So just thank you. And like at the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much, guys. But if you are new here, I mean the world, if you can subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. Or guys, click on DP, it's right here. Or if you want, you can watch the latest videos right here in the score box. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Have a great rest of the week, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And peace.